Well, good evening. Welcome to Sunday evening worship service. We're delighted that you have joined us. Those that are here in person, those that are joining us online, we welcome you. And uh, looking forward to some worship music tonight, aren't you? I think they're ready, and I think you're ready. And uh, we're looking forward to a great time together this evening. And uh, before we turn the service over to Allegheny Wesleyan College, just a couple of things. I made a, a terrible, two terrible uh, mistakes this morning. I would ask you if anybody knows what they are, but I'm afraid that I'll find out I made more, so I'm not going to ask that. Uh, one was I had mentioned uh, a number of names of people who had supported our son this last uh, winter, and I forgot Miriam Stanley, and uh, I felt terrible, and so thank you, Miss Miriam. Uh, my son told me, he said, I went looking to try to find her to tell her thank you. Uh, I forgot, and so anyways, my apologies. The second thing I forgot was it was in the bulletin last week and this week that we were going to be taking up an offering this morning for the Teed family. Some of you are nodding your head, and uh, you recognize that I forgot. <laughs> so if you came prepared uh, to give to the Teed offering, you can just mark it accordingly drop it in uh, in an envelope or, or drop it in the in your uh, in the offering a little later on just make sure that it is clearly marked that it's for the Teed family I also wanted to mention right up front those of you that are planning on giving to Allegheny Wesleyan College we would ask that you make the checks out to Allegheny Wesleyan College and uh, we'll be taking up an offering a little bit later on in the service a couple of things that I'd like to just share with us as we prepare our hearts to worship. Some of you may be familiar with uh, the name uh, Paul Wolf, Paul and Sherry Wolf. Uh, Paul and Sherry had two children. Their oldest son, 24 years old, uh, passed away last evening, had been having some seizures and uh, went through brain surgery. Uh, last evening had a pulmonary uh, embolism and passed away. I know that Paul and Sherry Wolf and their family would greatly appreciate our prayers tonight. And then there's a number of needs that are among us this evening. I look back, it would be so nice to see Sister Hester here, but not able to be here, is preparing for hip replacement surgery next Monday. And uh, so let's be praying for her. I'm going to invite you to stand as we open the service this evening with a word of prayer. Let's bow our hearts and uh, our, our heads and just ask that the Lord would tune our spirits and our hearts to worship the Lord tonight. Father, we rejoice in your goodness to us. Thank you for this day that you have made. Our hearts have already rejoiced. We've been glad in it. And today as we lift our hearts in praise to you, we exalt our King of Kings and our Lord of Lords. Tonight as we have gathered again to worship you and as we've come to hear music that exalts our Savior, I pray that you would help the choir as they minister tonight. And give us, Lord, as your people, hearts to respond. You know the things that each one of us are facing and the ways in which the music that is communicated tonight, the message of Jesus that is communicated tonight, will touch our hearts. So give us ears to hear. And give us hearts to worship you. We think tonight of those that are grieving and suffering. We pray for the Wolf family and ask that tonight you would draw especially near to them and be a strength and a help to them. We pray for those that need a physical touch. We're thinking especially tonight of uh, Sister Hester in preparation for surgery, and then I think of even Sister Hunt in two weeks is going to be facing knee surgery. We lift those to you. Lord, we, just, we thank you for the opportunity that we have to be able to gather together to worship you freely. We can do this, and we rejoice in that. I pray that you administer fresh grace to our hearts as we exalt your name together tonight. In Jesus' name, we pray these things. Amen. We're going to turn the remainder of the service over to Allegheny Wesleyan College. Brother Don Quails is coming to lead us in a congregational song after which the choir will be coming. Let's join together in worship tonight. Take your hymnal and turn to 236. 236. Thankful for Calvary. Years I spent in vanity and pride, caring not my Lord was crucified, no.
spread through salvation's flame. Oh, the grace that brought it down to man. Thank you for the good singing. I trust you'll continue to worship as the choir is ready to sing. one tongue and I want to use it for him but if I had a thousand I would give it to him and he's truly worthy of that praise he is so good to us and I am so thankful that he's my savior tonight praise his name and it's good to be here tonight and I'm, I think if even if the angels fall down to worship him how much more should we oh he's so worthy of praise we count it a privilege to be here we're going to take this time to introduce ourselves my name is Don Quails. I'm the director of music at Allegheny Wesleyan College. Playing the keyboard is my wife, Valerie. Hello, my name is Esther Rambo. I'm from Newcastle, Pennsylvania, and I'm a junior in the elementary education program. 
Good evening, my name is Marie Hobelman and I'm from Plainfield, Indiana and I'm a freshman in the elementary education department. Good evening, my name is Kristen Gessner. I am from Sealandsker, Pennsylvania and I'm a freshman in the elementary education program. Good evening, it's great to be here to worship with you all. My name is Cheyenne Fish, I am from Butler, Pennsylvania and I am a freshman in the cross-cultural missions program. Good evening, it's a pleasure to be here with you. My name is Stephanie Duval, and I am from Lisbon, Ohio. Good evening, my name is Meadow Lawrence. I'm from New Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, and I'm a freshman in the educational department. My name is Chandra Camp. I'm from Alberton, Montana, and I'm a freshman in the music ministry program. Good evening, it's great to be here. My name is Jenny Jackson. I'm from Casey, Wyoming, and I'm a freshman in the cross-culture missions program. Hello and good evening. It's so good to be here with you guys tonight. My name is Kirsten Pinkerton. I am from Kinsman, Ohio, and I am a junior in the elementary education program. Hello, everyone. My name is Keisha Marks. I am from Fort Thompson, South Dakota, and I'm a freshman in the elementary education program. Good evening. It's great to be here. My name is Kayla Duval. I'm from Salem, Ohio, and I'm a junior in the religious studies program. Good evening, it's great to be here. My name is Brianna Burr. I am from Salem, Ohio, and I'm a senior in the Religious Studies program. Hello, my name is Hope Sherman. I am from Lucius Barrow, Pennsylvania, and I am a senior in the Music Ministry program. Good evening, my name is Dominic Vargas. I'm from Graham, North Carolina, and I'm a senior in the cross Cultural Missions program. My name is Sheldon Lewis. I'm from Tonalia, Arizona, and I'm in the Music Ministry program. Good evening, my name is Nathan Booth. I'm from Sugar Creek, Ohio, and I'm a freshman in the Religious Studies program. Good evening, it's a privilege to be with each of you. My name is Adrian Panetta. I w I'm from Salem, Ohio, and I currently work as part of staff. Good evening, my name is Jens Hurst. I'm from Indianapolis, Indiana, and I am a sophomore in the Pastoral Ministries program. Well, good evening, it truly is good to be here. My name is Brenton Duvall. I am from Salem, Ohio, and I'm a junior in the Pastoral Ministries program. It is also a pleasure to be here. My name is David Duvall. I am from Lisbon, Ohio, and I am a senior in the Religious Studies program. Good evening. It is great to be here. My name is Kent Knight, and I am from Salem, Ohio, and I am a sophomore in the Cross-Cultural Missions program. Hello. It's also great to be here with you tonight. My name is Joey O'Connell. I'm from Elwood City, Pennsylvania, and I'm a freshman in the Religious Studies program. Good evening. It's a privilege to be here with you all. My name is Christopher Lefevre. I'm from Salem, Ohio, and I'm a junior in the Music Ministry program. Good evening. It's great to be here with you all tonight. My name is Philip Booth. I'm from New Bethlehem, PA, and I'm a freshman in the Religious Studies program.
It says one holy lamb, and it goes throughout the first verse, and it says how, how it goes through the Old Testament sacrifices, and we know how, how they went year after year, the blood would flow, and they would make these sacrifices of these, these bulls and these goats and, and these lambs, but we know that it really didn't atone for our sins. But then we come to the chorus, and it says one holy lamb, and it's a capital L. It's a capital L stands for Jesus, and we know that it was his blood that was shed. And when that blood flowed, that atoned for our sins. And I'm just so thankful for that blood that atoned for my sins, and that he's taken my sins away. And I so thank you for saving and sanctifying me tonight. Praise God.
song where it says every trial is won through the blood, and I'm so glad that we have a faithful God that we can depend on, and he has provided everything that we need to make it to heaven. I'm so glad that we can claim the blood and that he is all that we need. Praise the Lord. Surely thank the Lord for that message. This is a time of year when we're just recognizing the power of God and what he's doing for us. Thank you, Brother Slagenweight, for 
That is how you say that, right? I, I've been thinking I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it wrong when I get up there, but uh, so, so appreciate the privilege of being here. We think of what all God has done and what he's doing, and we think of the, the direction that the world is going and so many different things that are taking place, and you wonder, you wonder where God is in some of these things, but they're reminding us that God's going to have the last say in all of this. And he's going, to, he's going to be, he is in control, and he's going to have the last word, and every knee will bow, every tongue will confess. Oh, I'm thankful for that great message today. What a privilege to be here. I didn't realize there were some that I was going to be seeing that I didn't realize attended here, but Brother Hester and I, we go way back, 40-some years when we first met. And he was missionary. He and Sister Hester were missionaries to the Bahamas. And that's where we first met over 40 years ago. So it was good to see, to see him. Brother and Sister Parker, Brother Dan Parker, uh, an alumnus of, uh, of, it wasn't Allegheny Wesleyan College then, but Salem Bible Institute. And, and if I get the story correct, um, you were in your senior year of, of the college and had family and expenses and re responsibilities. And you weren't sure whether you could whether you could continue on. And the president, Brother Dunn, at that time, he allowed you to move into his house. He moved out of his house and bought a little trailer to live in so that, so that the Parkers could, could finish school and get out into the ministry because he saw potential in their lives. And what a, what a blessing that's been. Brother John Parker, he's a first grade alumnus of Allegheny Academy. <laughs> So, oh, we just are so thankful for the different ones and the Peltons we've served together on the mission field and different ones that are here. Brother Churchill served at the, on the college board, and we appreciate his years of service on the college board as well. But most of all, we're so thankful. You know, sometimes in the midst of, of, the, of the battle, and we're in a battle. We're in a battle for young people, for the salvation of souls, for reaching out in a lost and dark world. Sometimes in the middle of that, you, you, you forget what God has really done. And you just need to step back and, and just take a, a big look at, okay, God, you really are working in the midst of all of these things. And you understand the church folk here, what it meant when, when, uh, when you burned your mortgage. You understand what that meant and what a, what a, wonderful, what a wonderful relief that was. And, and we remember just, just, uh, just a few short years ago on how God helped us to become debt free. And, and then the building projects and the, and the increase in the, in the infrastructure and all the different things that are going on on the campus and, and the, 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 uh, the fully accredited online program that we were able to start over this past year. And, and just on and on it goes. We, we look back and say, well, God, you really are doing something. And we're thankful for that. But all of that really means nothing if it weren't for the testimony of these young people. And uh, when we think about those that have graduated over the course of the 10 years, that past 11 years, and there's been 91 graduates. And in, in those graduates, all 91 of those are attending and working in a church somewhere. And 60% and of those are in full-time ministry in those, in those churches, in pastors, pastors' wives, associate pastors, and 29 of those, 21 are working in Christian education. Five of those are out on a mission field somewhere. So, you know, we, we thank God for the privilege of, of, of having a place where young people can come and, and, and a venue for which they can seek God a venue for which they can find the will of God. And we, we thank God for the campus that he's given us for that purpose and for that, for that avenue for which they can come. Some come with a call and just it's burning and they go out just as strong as they came in. Others come, God gives them a call while they're there. Young people, take opportunity. Go to Bible school and take opportunity to let God speak to your heart and give you a sense of direction and, and, and a, a sense of leadership in your life. But we think of those who have partnered with us down through the years. And thank you for your support. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your giving. As president of the college, I just, I just want to extend a personal thank you to you and to all that you've done for us. Keep us in your prayers as we travel, as we continue to do the will of God and fulfill the mission of God that he's given us at Allegheny Wesleyan College.
Well, good evening. It's good to be here. My name's David Duvall. I'm the Director of Public Relations at Allegheny Wesleyan College, and I just want to express on behalf of, of everyone uh, here this evening from the school what a, what a delight it is and a privilege to be here. Thank you so much, Pastor Slack and White, and who else is uh, at the church uh, to housing and meals, all of that. And uh, we certainly appreciate all the effort that's gone into it. Uh, housing, people, um, it takes quite a bit of effort. So thank you, thank you very much. Some of you I remember uh, that are here this evening. Is this mic cutting in and out? For some reason? Let me just switch down here then. Or do you want me to try another one? Some of you remember around the time of the Vietnam War, uh, some of you that were here tonight, you may have gotten a notice in the mail. Uh, or maybe it's affected your family. And uh, Uncle Sam was saying, we need you. We need you to fight. And um, across our land, that affected family after family. Hundreds and thousands of young men had to go. But I'm wondering this evening, uh, as we're ministering, there's some young people here tonight. And I'm wondering, maybe God's tapping you on the shoulder. You're not getting a notice from the United States military, but maybe you're getting a notice from the royal service of heaven. And he's saying, I want you in the service of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. There's a lot, I don't have to tell you all this tonight, you know, and those of you that are in Christian work, you know, there's a shortage of committed full-time workers. There's churches that need pastors. There's Christian schools that desperately need workers. There's mission fields that need missionaries. And young people, let me encourage you tonight. Step out in faith and give God your life and say, Lord, here I am. I'm ready to serve you. I'm ready to enlist in the royal service of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And at Allegheny Wesleyan College, we would love to help train you for that in whatever area God calls you, whether it's uh, preaching or teaching or music ministry, uh, love to help you. And um, I want to just share uh, a little bit from one of our young men here who has enlisted in the, in the, the service of the King of Kings. And um, this summer... Uh, he's going to have a wonderful opportunity, and uh, so we're going to just let him tell you a little bit about that. Uh, Dominic, uh, where are you from? I'm originally from Graham, North Carolina. All right, and Dominic is in the Cross Cultural Missions Program, and uh, this summer he has a, a wonderful opportunity coming up, so I'm just going to let him tell you about that. Well, yes, I've, I've been in college here at AWC for about four years now, and it's coming up time for me to do my internship. We all have to do internships wherever, minus missions. So I'm going for missions. Um, uh, my plan is in Eastern Europe, I'm going to be going through HIM Ministries, Hope International Missions, um, and I'm going to be going through them, through Ed Durham. It's going to be like an in itinerant um, uh, internship, so I'm going to be going under him throughout um, parts of Eastern Europe. So that's the tentative plan at this point. All right, and I'm sure that that will be a wonderful opportunity. Thank you, Dominic. If you are interested in helping to provide support for these uh, young men, and women, Dominic and the rest of them are here and others that, that aren't here with us this evening. Uh, it's a way to, to help these young people and encourage them and partnership with them. We have an opportunity here for you this evening. Uh, it's called our 10 a month program. And basically, um, the young people are coming. Uh, you just take one of these cards if you're interested and uh, it's a, a simple and easy way, $10 a month and to give towards the support of these young people. Uh, there's no pressure here this evening, but if you'd like to, to partnership with us, just raise your hand and they will, they will give you one. Once again, it certainly is a privilege to be here. If you'd like more information about Allegheny Wesleyan College, please stop by our display table in the back. You can sign up to receive our newsletter, our president's perspective paper, and other information back there. We'd love to talk to you. If you're a young person here considering Bible college, we'd love to talk to you. Uh, stop by. We have any, uh, our display table. Stop by after the service. We also have an event coming up here in just a few weeks, our Get Acquainted Days. That's April 25 and 26. So thank you uh, very much, and uh, we'd love to have you young people there uh, to check out our college. So at this time, we're going to turn the service over to Brother Slack and White for the offering. Thank you, Brother Duvall. Thank you, Brother Harding for, Hardy, for sharing with us. You know, AWC is one of the first Bible colleges that I remember. Uh, I had family that went to AWC. 
And Brother Hardy showed me a picture of the campus from 2012 to today. And my last time at AWC was in 1999. I would be lost on your campus today. Uh, there has been a lot of improvements made and uh, some exciting things that are happening with some of their, their building there. I want to encourage you tonight to do your best to give. Uh, it takes a lot of money for a bus to run, the miles that they're running, and uh, we want to make sure and send them on their way with a great offering. I know you're going to do your best, and I greatly appreciate it. Our ushers are coming. The Lord bless you as you give. Let's bow our heads. Father, thank you for the wonderful privilege that we have to be able to worship the King of Kings tonight. I thank you for the ministry of training young people for uh, going out into various areas of ministry to share the gospel. And we lift up Allegheny Wesleyan College to you tonight. Pray that your blessing would be upon them. As we give tonight, help us to do so uh, generously, liberally, and with a cheerful heart for the upbuilding of your kingdom and the education of these young people. We pray it in Christ's name. Amen.
shine for him because he's a real God we're not serving some God of stone some God that passed away but our God is real and he lives within my heart and he can live in your heart if you don't know him hallelujah I'm so thankful for this God tonight praise his name
be here worshiping with you all. But I'm so thankful that he is real in my heart this evening, that he saved me, he sanctified me, and I just want to go all the way through with him. that the God of the universe loves me and knows me by name. I'm overwhelmed that the voice of creation speaks to my heart just the same. He tells the winds when to breathe and be still. He calms my heart when nothing else will. The God that I serve is a God Jacob and Isaac and all who believe. He is the Lamb and the light of Jerusalem, Bethlehem's Holy One, Messiah, my King, Master and Ruler of heaven and earth. That's the God I serve. The God that I serve a hope for the broken, a lamb for the lost, only soul. He suffered the weight of our sin on Mount Calvary. By his stripes we are made whole. Why should I worry when trouble is near? He's my deliverer, I will not fear. The God that I serve is the God. Jacob and Isaac and all who believe. He is the Lamb and the light of Jerusalem, Bethlehem's Holy One, Messiah, my King, Master and Ruler of heaven and earth. That's the God I serve. My healer, my helper, my Savior who died, Redeemer, Deliverer, He's still alive. The God that I serve is the God of Abraham, Jacob and Isaac and all who believe. He is the Lamb and the Light of Jerusalem, Bethlehem's Holy One, Messiah, my King. Master and ruler of heaven and earth, that's the God I serve. I serve, I serve, that's the God I I'm so thankful tonight for what the Lord's done in my life and just for his leadership and guidance in my life. And um, the next song we're going to sing is God is on our side. And there's a part, there's a phrase in this song that says, no condemnation for those alive in Christ. And I'm so glad that that the guilt, that the, that the burden of sin that I used to have is completely gone and that I can have a, a, a joy in my soul to know that all is right with God and there's no condemnation. I'm just so thankful for what the Lord can do. It's mysterious. I don't understand how God can take someone who is deep in sin and, and with the carnal nature and set them free and take that carnal nature out and fill it and put his Holy Spirit in him. It's a mystery, but I'm so glad it's real and it's real in my life this evening. I love him this evening.
George must be alive. For he who gave his son to die is forever on our side. God is on our side. An ever present fortress in his shadow. What can now be spoken in response to what he's done? For we who once were broken have been rescued by his Son. The blood of Christ is offering, no greater love is known. The Father held back nothing to reclaim us for his own God is on our side and never present fortress in his shadow we can hide who can be against us any charge must be a lie for he who gave his son to die is forever on our side. No condemnation for those alive in Christ. The Spirit's declaration brings freedom to our lives. Ever-present fortress, in a shadow we can hide. Who can be against us? Any charge? Are we who gave His Son to die? His forever His Son.
he means to me. And that song just talks about the mercy of Jesus. And the one phrase says, guilty, unworthy to Jesus I came. And truly that's what it was in my life. I was guilty and so unworthy, but Jesus still called me and sought me out. And I'm so thankful for him tonight. I'm thankful for what he's done in my life. And I just want to do everything to please him. To think that this King of Kings and Lord of Lords called me. I, I can't hardly fathom it. And uh, a lot of them were asking, who is this king? That's what the songwriter says, but he's my king. And at the end, it, it changes from who is this king that he is the king. The King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And he's in control. Hallelujah. I praise him. A king who was a carpenter from Galilee, royalty who lived among ones just like you and me. His person and his message were simple yet profound. Through faith we know his father, through him share common ground. The world may try to steer us with their logic and debate, telling us we dare not rest our future on our faith. But he's more than just a concept, and faith taught us to grasp. He becomes more than reality the moment that we ask.
we go. A king that will rule over all of the universe. One that every other king will bow at and give glory and praise to God. Oh, I'm thankful, young people, that we have a king that's seated on his throne tonight. He's not trying to figure things out. He's not pacing through heaven, looking at all of the happenings of this world, wondering what's going on. He knows exactly what's going on. He's putting everything into place for his glory and his rule. Amen. Well, have you worshipped the Lord tonight? There's been great opportunity. I trust that your heart has resonated with the truth that they sang tonight. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. I thought as they sang that, there's going to be a period of time in heaven. John writes about as he observed the happenings in heaven when there was, there was question. There was a moment where there seemed to be no one to be able to open the book of life, but then step forth the king. <laughs> The one who bears the marks on his hands that paid the penalty for you and for me. He is worthy to open the book. And we worship him tonight. Let's go rejoicing together in the Lord. Can you do that? Let's go encourage that there is a king that is ruling in heaven. Let's stand together as we close. Just a couple of quick housekeeping items. I hate to do this at the end, but they're necessary. Those of you that are housing the students, you have... A little name card, so you can act like you're at the airport ready to collect those that have come uh, on their flight. So all of you young people, I think, have seen who you're staying with. So you just look for your placard, and uh, we'll get you connected. As soon as service is over, those that are, are helping to house the students, we're going to have uh, a meal up at the, at the Murphy House up on the hill. And uh, once that's over, then you're free to take them home. Tomorrow morning, if you can have them back here, Brother Duvall, you all leave at 8 o'clock, correct? Load time is 7.30. That's what I figured it would be. So if you can have uh, the students back here by 7.30 tomorrow morning, that will be a tremendous help. Let's bow our heads together. Father, thank you for the truth that you are seated on your throne, ruling over all of the affairs of men. We rejoice tonight that there is a king in heaven and he is alive and well. I pray tonight that we would go strengthened in that truth, that we would go encouraged knowing that you are, are about your business in accomplishing your will in this world. Help us, Lord, as we have worshipped you together tonight. Help us to, uh, to take that truth that you are seated on the throne and the choir reminded us that we're to go out and to be a light. Help us to do that this week. Give us opportunities and give us boldness in our spirits to share the good news of Jesus Christ with the world around us. I pray your hand of protection and blessing would be upon each one as they travel home. May you be glorified through our lives and we'll praise you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord bless you. You are dismissed.